Whoa! It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm at home. I've officially quit surfing. I just gave away my first surfboard to my friend Oren. Out of the blue, I was just like, here, take this, take this board. And uh, he watches these videos, so I'm kind of making this for him. And I wanted to explain why I've got to quit surfing and I'm never going to surf again. That's a bold statement, but it's like all addicts. Surfing to me is no different than crack cocaine, heroin, alcohol, pot, whatever it is, man. It used to make me super stoked. It used to fill my life with joy. It used to take me away from my own head. And surfing's just not that way anymore, man. Surfing to me is a really negative pursuit. And it's not so much my, tr well, it's more, I know what, I'm that guy. I know what it is. I know what's going on out there. And I don't want to participate in the negative energy that is the surfing lineup. And, you know, half the problem for me is everybody thinks that surfing's just some fantastic rad thing and they're gonna go and do it and they haven't dedicated their life to it and they're just balling up the sea lanes and and I can't surf in that environment man and it's spread all over the world to where you can go around the world and there's just a bunch of kooks and it's not that's just a judgment that everyone's just doing their thing but I can't I can't do my thing like, that's the thing. Everybody just doing their thing has made it so I can't do my thing. And so, instead of me being in resistance to it all and trying to figure it out and just having more unhappy experiences in the ocean, I've decided to just turn in my boards, man. I'm turning in my boards. And my buddy Oren wanted me to explain my moment of clarity about this and this is what it is. So yesterday I was, yesterday, the supposed end of the world, I was down at work and I was putting on, bolting on these ledgers underneath this building and my buddy comes by who's the electrician and he's like, it was about one o'clock in the afternoon, he's like, dude, Strand was going off this morning, there were stand-up barrels and the whole thing and I'm going up to Rincon and I was like, what are you doing here and why are you telling me this, man? Can't you see I'm working right now? And he's like, I just wanted to see if you want to go surf. And I'm like, fuck you, man. Get the fuck away. And like, piss. I can even be pissed right now about it, man. I'm just like, get away from me, man. And like five minutes later, I had the moment of clarity where I was like, whoa, bro. Like, I was enjoying myself at work, doing my thing. All day long, one bro comes up, says, hey, six hours ago, the waves were going off and you missed it. And it ruined my morning, like retroactively ruined my day. And I was like looking at myself and I separated myself from myself. And I was like, how is that even possible? How could something that occurred six hours ago ruin my now? And I was like, whoa, I have this crazy addictive attachment to surfing and I can't get my fix, man. Surfing to me has become like trying to scrape a pipe, dude. It's it's the, the bottom of, of the addiction scale for me right now. Every now and then I go get a big bell ringer, the ultimate bong hit or the perfect buzz. But 90% of the time it's just scraping pipes or looking for a shard of crack in a carpet with an asbestos ceiling above my head. It's it's just such a bummer, dude, and I get so bummed and so depressed because all I really want to do in life is go surfing, and I just can't break free of this 3D landscape of the hologram. I, somehow I I wrote a really bad thing into my dream about it, man. I, and, I, and I can't wake up from it and I can't break free from it. So the only way I figure that I'm ever going to get get to it is to surrender it all. And I'm giving my boards away. 
I gave my first one. Dude, it's hard, bro. It was hard to give my board away. My bro's like, even like, are you sure, dude? And I'm like, it's, don't ever, he's like, you can't have it back. And I go, I don't want it back, man. And I took all my surfboards out of my car and I put them on the rack. There's waves today, but I'm not, I'm not going to go join that scene man of crowded angry yelling snaking people because a i don't want to become that dude and that's what it takes man it takes a gnarly aggressive cookie monster to get a wave and and i and i, and I don't want to be that guy man i want to go like surf and enjoy myself i don't want to have to like jockey some dude or get yelled at by some other guy or snake someone or be snaking someone or just the whole thing. I want to be. I want to be that dude from Ohio. Surf Ohio, man. Those guys got it going on, dude. I I envy those guys sitting in Ohio surfing, man. They've got it figured out, man. The waves suck, and they're having a good time, and they're all sharing it. And the waves here are good, but the whole scene sucks. And I know it's just my own thing but I don't know maybe I don't know what to do about it I'm just I gotta stop being participating in it this doesn't happen to me when I ride my skateboard there's no negative trip when I'm riding my skateboard I don't come back from a skate session off horrified and surfing sessions I come back horrified and, and so it's funny because some of the good surfing sessions I've been just the full brutal beast and just gone on a rampage and and probably made other people's surfing sessions suck. So, like, where is that? The chain of pain's got to stop somewhere. And I'm stopping it with me, man. So, I am no longer... I know I'm not going to be able to escape my diction and the way I speak and stuff. But as far as the illusion goes, I'm no longer a surfer, man. I don't ever want to surf again. Wow. That's radical man i know this is kind of a weird is this a bummer video or is this a stoked video i don't really know but all i know is i'm not participating in an activity that involves people screaming and yelling at each other and threatening each other with violence i i refuse to be part of that and that's all that surfing is and those of you who don't know what i'm talking about I don't want to say this, but you're not really a surfer because if you were really a surfer, you would know why. We're crazy people and we're so jammed up and I have to give I have to give surfing back to God or my higher power of the universe and say, hey, it's yours, man. And, and just let the chips fall where they may. And I think I got like six more boards to give away and see who's next. Lates, I hope you guys are having a radical post end of the earth day. <laughs>